Build a graphic is a PowerPoint add-in that helps you turn your words and ideas into professional graphics quickly. It works two ways. One is you can either use it to build your graphics from scratch or use pre-built graphics. When it comes to building your graphic from scratch, it couldn't be easier. You start with the text in PowerPoint, open up the build a graphic add-in, and then I'm going to chunk my text, break it up into bite-sized pieces, delete the old text box, and I'm gonna move my text down and begin to delete the content I feel is unnecessarily verbose. I'm going to then move my content boxes, my text boxes down to accommodate visual elements that reinforce my content. I can format it any way that I want. Then I'm going to look for these concepts or words in the library. So I'm gonna type in assess and I'm gonna hit return and then build a graphic is gonna give me a list of graphics that I can use to communicate the concept of assessing. I'm gonna filter it for graphic elements because I'm building it from scratch. I'm gonna scroll down and look for something that I think works with my subject matter, with my content, something that I like. And I like this graphic, I'm going to insert it. Now all the graphics in build a graphic are vector based, which means that they retain the quality no matter how big or small you scale them, they are resolution independent, and they also have very low file sizes, plus they're infinitely editable, so I can change the style to meet any needs that I have. They're fantastic, vector based graphics are amazing. I'm then gonna copy this and paste it into my slide, scale it down, and position it where I want. I'd like her looking in toward the graphic, so I'm gonna choose Arrange, Rotate, Flip Horizontal. I'm going to position her just the way I want and then repeat that for each one of these until I have this lovely graphic. Now, because I'm in PowerPoint, I have the flexibility of adding additional embellishment if I want to. For example, I can add a circle, right click and choose Send to Back, and then repeat that for each one of these. If I wanna show that it is a process, I can go ahead and click the arrow, I can add an arrow graphic, format it any way that I want, and then repeat that for each one of these. And suddenly, I have a professional graphics, a graphic in minutes. I can format that graphic, I can change the background, I can drop it into a PowerPoint slide, I can export it into Google Slides or any other software, Adobe Illustrator, because these graphics are vector, you can copy and paste, or export them depending upon the software you're going into. There really are no limits. I can use this technique to create powerful day in the life of graphics, but that's not my limit. I can use a kit of parts for road graphics or different types of graphics. I can use this kit of parts to make my mo road metaphor graphics or I could use it for pipe graphics. Our processes like water flowing through pipes because it's vector-based, I can easily modify the style of the graphics. You also have a giant library of quantitative charts and dashboard graphics, so I can right-click and choose Edit Data because it's data-driven, and what I can do is at any point in time, I can change the number here, hit Tab, and it will automatically update my graphic accordingly. You have a giant library of icons and symbols so if I want to make them uh, change the color of them to meet the uh, brand standard or the color palette of my presentation I'm set and it's very easy to do because they're vector based what about pre-built graphics well it's even easier so with a pre-built graphic I'm gonna start with my content same content I'm gonna look up the concept of seven so I'm gonna click on my build a graphic add-in type in the number seven, hit return and see what I come up with. Under the filter, I'm gonna choose pre-built graphics, and then you're gonna scroll down and find whatever you'd like. Now, someone says, well, there's a lot of graphics from which to choose. Yes, there are. I want your options to be almost limitless. The library's always growing. So the question becomes, well, which one do you choose? And my answer is, you choose whatever you think is best for you. It's going to be, no matter what you choose, something that is better than just a sea of text. So I pick this graphic and now all I have to do is type or copy and paste the content from the previous slide into my new graphic. So right here, this is step number one. I'm gonna say assess 
And then what I would do is I would continue to type it in and format the graphic until it's something that I want. And then if I want to, I could drop that graphic into a PowerPoint presentation or export it or save it as something that I can use in any other piece of software. You also have gauge graphics, and again, everything is very, very easy to edit and modify, and everything's gonna be modular so that you can make it your own. You have a giant library of pre-built graphics from which to choose, process diagrams, you're going to have timelines, things you can use for your agenda, unique ways of showing the same information, pie charts, gear graphics, road graphics, traditional pyramid graphics, different metaphors with pyramid graphics, org charts, you have so many options. Stair graphics, there are so many graphic types from which to choose. You have tree or growth graphics, you're gonna have uh, traversing difficult planes, anatomical graphics, puzzle graphics, transition graphics, maps that are completely editable, graphics when you have a lot of content. What do you do when you have a lot of content and words? You can still make it professional if you have a library of assets that you can pull from to make it your own and make it stand out. We also have geeky graphics all the way up from conveyor belt graphics to Gantt charts to KPI graphics, program life cycles, multi-dimensional risk reduction, DevSecOps, Agile Scrum. The library is constantly growing. Builder Graphic, again, is a PowerPoint add-in that helps you turn your words and ideas into professional graphics quickly, and you can export your graphics and put them into almost any software.